This is Gene Key for SkyServe News. According to the AP and KVUE.com, a 42-year-old Irving mother charged in the murder of her 6-year-old son will plead guilty to second-degree murder in a plea agreement that calls for a sentence of 45 years to life, court officials said. Julian McCrary left her son's body under a blanket near a tree off a dirt road in South Berwick, Maine, authorities said. Camden died of asphyxiation. The mother and son had stayed in a New Hampshire hotel the weekend before his body was discovered. Court documents indicate that McCrary knowingly caused Camden's death by lying on top of him and smothering him. No sentencing date has been set. KHOU.com reports from Dallas. A 20-minute scenic trip turned into a 90-minute ordeal for about 30 guests at the Dallas Zoo Tuesday morning after the monorail safari ride stalled. Dallas Fire Rescue personnel climbed from car to car in an effort to reassure zoo patrons, including children, and to determine the best way for them to reach safety from their perch 40 feet above ground level. Rescue teams trimmed tree branches in a remote area of the zoo to reach some of the passengers with ladders. The Dallas Zoo refunded the money passengers paid and offered them free passes for a future visit to the facility. KVUE.com just reported, beginning in March of next year, Emirate Airlines will start daily non-stop flights between Seattle and Dubai, United Arab Emirates. The airline also is adding Dallas-Fort Worth as part of a U.S. expansion. The airline will operate Boeing 777s, aircraft seating about 354 passengers on the 15-hour flight from Dallas-Fort Worth. The only other U.S. cities served by the international carriers are Los Angeles, San Francisco, New York JFK, and Houston. This is Gene Key for SkyServe News.